AI image generation is under attack. Oh, by the way, I also have my live stream, so don't forget to join me. We're gonna play around with Playground. We're gonna review your pictures, talk about AI, all these cool things. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So we have the first lawsuit going on against Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, and for some reason, DeviantArt, the platform that was first concerned about that because they are one of the biggest artist communities and then they employed their own AI model trained on top of Stable Diffusion. They are also getting sued. Well, here we are. Now, personally, I'm happy this is happening. Don't be angry. Don't be aggressive about that. Celebrate this event, not because something bad can happen, but because this is going to clarify a lot of things, right? This is going to be the fire that every new technology has to go through. And no matter what the outcome is of that lawsuit, this will clarify for everybody what are the rules of the game. And then afterwards, every party, every side is coming stronger out of that because now they know what's going on now they can really invest and the art the technology all of that can be built up think about all the publishing houses all the galleries all the services the customers who want to work with you but they are uncertain do i run into problems or not after this lawsuit and other lawsuits that are probably following after that a lot of that is going to be clarified. So that is absolutely cool. So when we look here, and you should absolutely read through this article here because that is really interesting. Of course, they want to drum up a little bit of noise here. For example, we assume a nominal damage of $1 per image. I don't know where that number is coming from. We have 5 billion as an amount, which sounds amazing. And of course, is good for media to have such a big number. And then they directly compare this to an art heist, the biggest art heist ever. 1990, 13 works have been stolen from a museum in the worth of 500 million. So of course, we want to compare this right away to hard on criminals who break into museums. Well, the judges have to decide and the jury has to decide about that. Then of course, they talk here a little bit about the process. What is the diffusion model? So you can see here we have an image of a spiral that is diffused into noise and more noise and then this process is reversed and kind of a similar spiral is coming out and this of course is a very visual and very simple example on how something like that could look of course most artworks are not simple spirals there's a little bit more going on and of course because of that there is a lot more interference in that so you can even see here that not even now with this simple spiral the image could be a 100% recreated. So think about the complexity of the images that are created by Midjourney and how much they are different from the original work. Now, that of course had a lot of influence on copyright because if you think about the copyright of a work, and I'm not a lawyer here, I'm not I'm not giving any legal advice or anything, um, but as far as I understand it personally, the copyright of an artistic work is only that exact work. If you change that to a certain degree, to a certain amount, it's not copyrighted anymore and the style can't be copyrighted at all. So the judges, the jury has to see how much that means, if it means anything at all. Then they talk here about interpolating of images and latent images, which is really interesting. They say uh, the latent image is kind of a compressed copy of that image. Mm, I wouldn't 100% agree with that because in the latent image, in the latent space, we're talking about a lower dimensional version of that image. So it only has the most significant data points in there, which is not the image. It's a very reduced abstract analysis of that image. And these analysis points, then you can move around in that space of these billions of points in there and create variations in between these images. Uh, and this is what we get as an output, right? But all of these images are very different from the original image. What they show here is that they have two portraits. And then for some reason, I've never seen that personally uh, with Stable Diffusion or Midjourney, you get an overlay of both of these portraits to create a, a third portrait. Uh, I have never seen that this kind of overlay 
perspective where you see two portraits at the same time. And then we have here the plaintiffs, so the people who are suing these companies. So we have here the three different artists. Surprisingly to me, all of these artists are rather young. So we have here uh, Sarah Anderson. She does these comics as far as I understand. Then we have here Kelly McKernan, which I guess is an illustrator. And then we have here Carla Ortiz. She is doing video art, installation, photography, things like that. She's actually coming from the, a similar background that I am coming from. I've studied conceptual art, which is more about the philosophy, the concepts, the theories in art. And you do artworks more through the idea than actually the material. I'm not saying she's doing it more through the idea, but this is what uh, this kind of installation and video art uh, stuff is uh, about. She's a very um, outspoken uh, voice in that movement against, um, not against AI art, but you know what I mean. And by the way, I want to invite you, absolutely suggest to you to watch the talk where she's also a guest on the channel of Proco. He's an amazing guy, absolutely love his channel. He's a classically trained artist and illustrator and he teaches people on his channel how to draw better. And he has a talk with her and also with Steven Zapata, which has made uh, one of these very popular videos against AI art and how this is dangerous for the uh, art community. It is really interesting to watch the talk, what they are saying, but one of the most important and interesting things I find here is the opinion of Proko, because of course he is also skeptical of that technology, but he's a bit more open-minded and this really shows in that talk. And this is why I want to get into a talk with him. I, I reached out to him through email. His team mailed me back. We tried to set something up. I can't promise if anything is happening, but I would absolutely love that because I love not only him and his channel, but also his opinion on that. And one thing that he's saying and that I'm absolutely agreeing with is that AI technology is here to stay and not no matter what comes out of that lawsuit, no matter how maybe Midjourney is destroyed, maybe stable diffusion is destroyed from that lawsuit. But after that, this will give a lot of clarity, a lot of security over the whole process of AI and where are the limits, what can be done, what data can be used, in what way can the data be used, right? Stuff like that. And we have to also consider at that point that they are suing Stability AI, Midjourney and DeviantArt, but we have out there companies who haven't even published their models. Think about Adobe, Nvidia, Meta, Google, all these huge big companies who are working on AI art and have worked on these AI image creation processes, not just for images, but also for 3D models, for video and a lot of other processes, right? This is a very, very important trillion dollar industry that is not going to go away just because some artists are upset about the use of their images. Maybe, and I'm absolutely in accordance with that. I absolutely agree to that. If they want to have their images removed, do that. If they want to have themselves removed from the models, do that. No artist names, no artist pictures, unless the artists themselves agree to that to be used. I'm absolutely okay with that. Don't worry about that. Because one thing we have seen from the stable diffusion model is that the community is actually making much better models and training this on artworks that you have created yourself or designs and all these kind of processes that are coming from you, that are coming from the community is much more interesting than training it on the classic artists, especially if they don't want that. We don't need them. We can do whatever we want. And this technology is so amazing and powerful and creative that we can create billions of pictures and new styles. And this is the main thing about AI. AI is bringing us forward, is bringing new technologies, is bringing new ways of artistic expression that are far more reaching than the classic process. Because one thing we have to remember, and you can see this in the history of art, the technology defines the artwork. So if you paint with a brush, 
your work will look a certain way. And you can absolutely see that if you go to a museum and look, for example, not just about the paintings that are made with the brush, but the difference between an acrylic paint and an oil paint because the material works different, you will see that the art, the output of the art is completely different. So of course, digital painting has brought a big revolution to what is painting and what is drawing. And then of course, now we have AI, which can go far beyond that. So I'm absolutely excited about the things that are happening there. And the good thing of this lawsuit is this will burn away the things that are bad and that are hurtful to the development because of legal problems that can happen and lawsuits that can happen. And afterwards, when we have the results of what is good and okay, the investors can come in, the, com the companies can build amazing products, the customers can be safe that the images that you sell to them, that you create for them, the designs you make are actually legally okay and they can use it in their web pages, in their video games, in their music videos, whatever. There is a, like, like I said, trillion dollar industry out there for all of these creative products. This is the start of the big race, my friends. I couldn't be happier about this i will be sitting here with a big bucket of popcorn and just watching what is going on and i hope like i said please proko let's have a talk i absolutely want to talk that out and um, have a discussion on your channel on my channel with other guests i'm absolutely okay with everything i just want to talk about this amazing thing that is happening right now in art in culture in the human technological evolution because this is the next step i'm super excited about that and I know that you are too. This is why I want to talk with you. Okay, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.